Mike, we've entered a new era in the NHL. There's 31 teams. The Vegas Golden Knights are about to start their first season. It's been a long time coming with the expansion draft, with all the expansion rules and the off season that they've gone through. But here we are. And at the end of this season, what do you think would be a happy ending for them? What do you think would constitute positivity? Well, you know what? I think the fact that if they're competitive, I think that's the most important thing. And Hey, by their first exhibition game, they were going for a dozen goals against Vancouver. Now, you're not obviously going to get that. But I think this year is going to be more of the Vegas experience. Isn't that what Sin City yep. is all about? I mean, for an example, um, two years ago I was in Vegas when they were building the arena. And as you're driving up to the arena, there's a big sign on the adjoining building that's like four stories high and it says drink. And I'm thinking, this is going to be nice for coaches of opposing teams that are driving in and their players are going like, oh, I wonder what we're going to do the night before the game. So there's a lot of little aspects to it that are going to be fascinated, uh, fascinating by, but I don't think one loss record is going to be that uh, important this year so long as they're competitive. Well, when you look at the roster and they look very similar, it looks very similar to what they had after the expansion draft. The free agency market didn't really pull towards them. They picked up a couple pieces. Yep. But at the end of the day, their forward depth is lacking. Their defense is okay. Their goaltending is decent with Marc-Andre Fleury. So <laughs> the expectations are pretty low. But let's think long term. How many years do they have in this honeymoon period where you know local fans, local corporate po sponsors are going to give them a free pass? I'll tell you what. They better be competitive in what is it, two, three years when the, when the Raiders come. Okay. Because, yeah. you know what, people say, well, it's two different markets. And yes, it is. It's one, you know, Raider fans are going to come from around the country, whereas hockey fans are the localized people, you know, they buy the season tickets. But still, if one team's going to be established, if the other team is very bad, um, you know what, you're gonna, I think you're going to find the trickle effect of people stopping going to games. So I think they have about a two to three year leeway. Yeah, with this season, we'll see what happens. I don't think it's going to be very pretty, but I'm happy they're in the league. For Post Media and Mike Zeisberger, I'm John Mattis.